Hi, I'm Jana. And I'm Greg from Cutting Edge Stencils. Today we're going to show you how to stencil those tricky corners when doing a damask or all over stenciling project. Now we know many of you find the corners quite intimidating, but they're really not that hard to do. We have stenciled this dining room in our diamond damask all over pattern. Once you get to the corner, gently bend the stencil and place it into the corner and make sure your pattern lines up with your previously stenciled damask. What seems to work best is to tape and stencil one wall at a time. Secure half of the stencil in place, leaving the other half unattached. Load your dense foam roller with paint and offload the excess paint onto a paper towel. Roll your stencil and then roll directly into the corner crease. Now you can detail the corner by using the stencil brush. Make sure to offload your brush onto a paper towel. Carefully pounce the corner with your brush, making sure to use a straight up and down motion. This will help you to fill in the detail. Now for the right side of the stencil, slide your clip-on stencil level onto the top of the stencil. Align the stencil with your previously painted pattern, making sure the bubble is in the center. Tape it down with the blue tape. Our all-over stencils are interlocking, so it's easy to repeat the pattern. Leave the left side of the stencil untaped. Reload your roller and then offload it onto the paper towels. Now we're going to roll the right side just like we did the first side. Notice how the untaped part of the stencil doesn't line up perfectly. This is because most corners are not perfect and that's why we're stenciling one wall at a time. Again, roll the stencil straight into the corner. Detail the corner with your stencil brush. Now carefully remove the stencil and there you have it, the corner is conquered. So now you know how to tackle those tricky corners. After a few times, you'll be a pro. Cutting edge stencils, it's beautiful, made easy.